How to build a Victorian house in Minecraft. So I just built this house in Creative Minecraft. I built this because I wanted to sketch out some ideas for an upcoming building project on my regular survival Minecraft series. So after looking at pictures of old houses for a while, I finally came up with a design and a build palette. And now I'm going to show you my building process. I will be uploading more build tutorials like this to my channel. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you have not subscribed yet. And with that said, let's get started. Let's first take a look at the blocks that you will need for this build. And as you can see here, the build palette is pretty simple. But if you are playing in survival Minecraft, you might have to go into the nether to get some of these blocks. You might also have to farm some nether warts in order to craft red nether bricks. And I will also be using different variations of these blocks as a way to add complexity to my build. For example, there are different variations of blackstone, which you can use to add texture. I don't really have a precise number of how many of these blocks you will need for this build, because that is going to depend on the size of your building. The first thing I'm going to do here is to lay down a foundation for this build. And in order to make things as simple as possible, I just went with an L-shaped layout and I'm going to put the precise measurement of this layout on the screen right now. If you're building this in your own world, you definitely don't have to follow these numbers. I'm going with a small design here because it takes less time to build. But if you're building this house in your own world, just make sure that each side of your layout has an odd number because that is going to help you a lot when you construct the roof. The next step is to build up the rest of the walls using red nether bricks. As you can see, I'm not too concerned about putting in too much details at this stage of my building process, but rather I'm using the basic building blocks to figure out a rough contour of this building, and we'll come back to add some finer details in the later steps. After the walls are roughly in place, it's time to work on the roof, and for this part I'm actually going back to using blackstone blocks. I'm going to have the roof extend two blocks from the building itself, And after I worked out the shape of the roof, the next step is just to fill in the space with a lot of blackstone blocks. My idea behind this build is that I can turn it into a haunted house project. And for that reason, I picked a roof design that is supposed to look imposing and scary. And later on, I think I'll come back to add some texture to this roof. But other than that, I'm not going to bother too much with adding details to the roof just because this isn't the part of the building that people are going to have a lot of interaction with. After the roof is in place, I'm going to build a tower in this empty space here. My initial idea is to build a tower that roughly has a round shape, but then I realized that I won't have as much space to fit in windows, so I decided that the tower will be more of a square shape, This tower is pretty much the centerpiece of this entire building, and it is pretty much what makes this house a Victorian style house. So I was very much looking forward to building this thing. And here I'm going to add some more layers to this tower. And here I'm going to give the roof a rough outline. I'm definitely going to come back later and chisel out the details, but overall, adding in this tower definitely transformed this building. And the next thing I'm going to do is to add another layer of roof like this. And after that, I'm going to extend the blackstone foundation to create sort of a walkway around the tower. So I did some work off camera to make the roof of the tower look more natural, and I think it's looking pretty nice. I didn't want to be bothered with adding too much detail, which is why I stayed away from using stair blocks and half slabs. And now that the overall structure of this house is in place, it is time to add in some details. And this is the step that we'll be using a lot of nether bricks. And as you can see here, I'm basically going around to replace the edges of the blackstone roof with nether bricks. To be specific, I'm using nether brick stairs, but regular nether brick blocks will work just fine. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, I came up with this design for a haunted house project. 
which is why the build palette I'm using here is quite dark, and as an alternative to these nether bricks, I think quartz blocks will also look pretty nice on this roof. But for now, I'm going to go around each corner of the roof and add one extra block for each corner. This small tweak is going to make this roof look much nicer. And using black stone walls and iron bars, I'm going to add in a small detail to the roof of the tower as well. I also did some mini experiments in terms of my build palette. As you can see here, pretty much out of nowhere, I had the idea of using crimson planks as an alternative to nether bricks. I implemented this idea on one side of this house, but after looking at it for a little bit, I decided that I didn't really like it. And I ended up getting rid of the crimson planks. And by the way, as you can see here, I have also added some details in the area underneath the tower roof. And the next step is to add some windows to this tower, and it took me many attempts to figure out a final design. And overall, I wanted to avoid a square or rectangular window as much as possible, which I think I was able to accomplish. And after that, it's just a matter of adding more nether brick blocks and do my best to replicate the window design on the other wall of this tower. And for now, I'm going to put down some sea lanterns to signal that these are windows. And the next thing I'm going to do is to adding some windows on the first level of this tower as well. And after playing around with the building space that is available to us, I was able to figure out a very simple design. And while I was doing some work in this area, I thought that I would give these crimson blocks another try. So I took out some crimson trapdoors, and I thought I can use them to build a railing, which once again, I wasn't really sure if I like it or not. So I decided against it and instead used nether brick fences. But um, what did you guys think about it? Do you guys like the crimson blocks on this build? And if you do, let me know in the comment section below, because I would love to experiment with these blocks in a future build video. But for now, I'm just going to finish my work in this area by putting in some columns and I'm also throwing in some black stone walls here because why not? I also built a doorway here so that people can walk through this area. And my trick here is to make the door frame three blocks deep. This way, there is enough space to add some nether brick stairs and nether brick walls. And these blocks tend to be very helpful when it comes to decorating your build. And that is definitely the case here. So I lost my building footage in Replay Mod, but I was able to finish building this house, so I guess I'll just do a tour around this space and walk you through some of the changes that I have added in first person mode, which as you can see, there are quite many changes. So as you can see here, there is now a front entrance to this house, and uh, it's really just a matter of adding in a window and a door. It took me some time to figure out a window design here, but I think the final product looks pretty fantastic. And down here, we have a relatively simple door frame. And of course, if you open it, there's nothing in there. And as you can see here, I have also added some texture to the roof by adding in variations of blackstone blocks. And by the way, I also added some nether brick fences here. You know, just a nice final touch to the roof. And I think it does make the building look a little bit more historical as well. So yeah, I would say that this building is coming together quite nicely. There is another window that I've added over here. If you come over to this side of this house, and let's adjust the angle of the sun, like so. And here you have it. This is a slightly larger window design that you could use. And because we do have a lot of empty space on this wall, I have also mixed in some stair blocks, just to give the wall a little bit of texture. So that is all I have for you guys for this video. And like I mentioned earlier, this is a prototype for a haunted house project that I planned out for my regular survival Minecraft series, which means I will be rebuilding this house in survival Minecraft, but of course in a much grander scale. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. 
and stay tuned for more updates from me, Scorpios, and I'll see you guys next time.